very much Axe. How are you feeling like Axe fits in the meta? I know you put up a tier list yeah. on your Twitter earlier I don't know tonight. who let me do that. I don't know who let me do that. But <laughs> I did put it up there. And uh, I did put Axe in like a lower tier, mainly because I think the high frame weapons are really good right now. I think those weapons that are able to attack much faster than Axe are the weapons that you're going to look out for. Like this sword into Axe matchup, you can already see it working out here for him already because we have the Brin in the red with the Axe in hand and it's not really getting too much value out. As I say that, he does get the end light off to add on some more, but he has a mountain to climb already on this first game. You see the D-Light side there. Nice weapon toss coming out. Pollux was looking like he could get back even with the dodge. Almost him. We not going to put himself into danger whatsoever. Moving out, maybe trying to confirm that edge guard. He did the little guesstimation of the distance. Saw Holix wasn't going to be able to get back to it. And exactly like you said, it was a few hits from the Axe, but overall, Hemwee's still in the yellow. We now see Holix over on the spear. Really hasn't found too much so far. We see the double dares coming out, but it's a lot of posturing back and forth, a lot of movement before there's any commitment whatsoever. He immediately throws the Axe away. And that is that key spear gameplay that we are looking for, that movement-based focus where it's more like, okay, what am I going to do next? You have no idea. And I'm not going to put out anything till you do make that mistake, till you do make that reaction. And that recovery comes out and is immediately punished by the by another recovery out of the spear. Side six not going to find his mark but immediately gets the down air after the downlight stare is going to come out from Himway himself. As he gets sent off, he's trying to get this stock closed off, Holix, but he can't find any of these KO moves on the spear. Now, coming down out light. with Ivor here, a lot of players are very familiar with Brent, a hugely popular character for virtually all of Brahala's history. But coming out with Ivor, if you're not really locked in to those signature animations, you might have a little bit of matchup inexperience, specifically with this crossover coming out. We just saw the signature come out from Holix earlier that Hemi wasn't able to punish quite properly, that maybe if it was a Brent versus the Ivor, he might have been a little bit more familiar with it there. D-Light down air. Weapon Toss comes out again. Finishes up the edge guard. Super clean for him. We And he's in a better position than he was when he got the first stock. He's barely yellow. You're talking about familiarity and so far, Hemway off stage he looks very, very familiar. That was a downlight dare instead of Sarah. So it didn't confirm the kill, but as soon as it happened, he was right off stage getting that GC downlight now. Now you see him on the hammer. He hasn't seen too much success, mainly the sword so far, and hammer did receive a buff in that recent patch. So I'm really excited to see what it can do this weekend. I know it also has those slower frames like the axe. And as, as I say that, the side stick comes through and just sends him off the main platform. He's charging up for the next stock. He has the spear in hand. He has the advantage to stay with the weapon. But it's not going to last for too long as Himway picks up another hammer. As I was saying about that hammer, the buffs did come through. They did get uh, more, more of a hitboxing on that side air. And I don't know if that's really the difference or if that was uh, what was gatekeeping the, the weapons from being played, but you're seeing it do well right now, right here with these stomp stairs coming through the side light as well. That was the other weapon that I was really curious how it was going to do. Of course, other than battle boots, which is what everyone was kind of talking about going into this one. We saw a more extended stock with the actual hammer towards the end there because he picked it up when he wasn't in red. And of course, it didn't seem like he had any trouble whatsoever finding those downlights. Even on the downlight whiff, that was like the big thing it was like, oh, well, if you whiff downlight now, it's not free anymore. It's yeah. not as uh, as safe as it used to be. But you still see him we able to dash in and dash out even on a whiff from that downlight and still have complete control showing why him we is going into this one at the first seed. Meanwhile, Holix uh, I am looking here at seventh seed. So there's a pretty big difference there. Yeah, that's definitely, especially in a region, region so close together like Southeast Asia, that is going to be a gap even if it's just a uh, six seed difference. But going into the Demon Island game, same legend lock-ins. I don't think we're going to be seeing any switches. A beautiful nair there off the end light, but the stop is not followed up. That one will be though the weapon to apply some pressure, but not too much is going to come off of it. Just so if we're, if we're looking specifically at the hammer on him, we looking at the damage from last game, 202 on hammer, 247 on sword. So he definitely did more on sword, but it's not that much more. Yeah, the hammer can, looking comfortable this split, game. An even split of the uh, weapon usage there. Another GC downlight is going to go by unpunished, but you can see Holix is kind of looking for a weapon here, and him quite just not letting it happen at all. His side light was beautiful, doesn't get the downlight after, but it's just going to add up a bit more damage. Goes side, the side sig on the edge, doesn't hit, moves back towards the center of the stage, finds the side air facing the right side. That was the closest blast zone for him, so that's exactly where he wanted to pick it up. Ends up picking up the stock, gonna go into some juggling here. Ooh. Okay, GC D light into the neutral air. I'm seeing vibes from Kaina Ackerman coming out here. Neutral air as well, the juggle still. Stomp side air, him we is having no trouble whatsoever. Oh Finding any way in, any way out, finding the damage and finding the KO. I've been warning the people it's hammer season. 
It's hammers again. It's gonna come back and it's gonna be just as awesome as it was to watch before. Like you just mentioned, the kind of Ackerman gameplay. Hammer is always an explosively fun weapon to watch, and to see it brought back here in the top four of Southeast Asia, just it's just foretelling what the other regions are gonna do with it. Even before the hammer buffs, there were still like rumblings around saying like, <laughs> okay, hammer's not like that bad, guys. I know we've been talking about how it got completely brutalized, and not <laughs> viable anymore, but you know it's not that bad. And then it got that little buff. I'm hoping to see some more. See what what real potential it has in current meta a lot of people are talking about like guitars this weekend of course battle boots just seeing where hammer now fits in to this very modern meta that we have currently going on right now and see how it evolves over the season as more players discover more potential with the legends that are added to, into the game the new weapons that are added into the game man him we's having no trouble here almost grabbed that one holix does find the punish goes for the sideline kind of backs up waits to see what he can get off him we because he's looking to take this stock he has to take this stock here the side stick usage from him we has just been going mostly unpunished, but also a good amount of them have been hitting. So if, if you're able to throw out a stick that often, have some of them hit, have some of them not, the value on it is just so high because even when he is missing them, you're not seeing a punish come through. You're just seeing just free usage of the signature, just free pressure out of it. He's going to take that game as well, two stocks, putting him up 2-0. And there we go. You can see the damage on screen right in the bottom left. 449 with the hammer compared to 103 from Sword. It's that hammer was season. absolutely a hammer game. It's hammer season, it's hammer ladies season. and gentlemen. Please, I, except I don't want you to say that because <laughs> then I'm going to have to see more hammer in my ranked games. Bro, just play it. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just play it. I can't have anyone catching me in the queue on Hammer after the things I've said about Hammer and Hammer players over the years. They're just not worried about you in the queue, Sparky. That's Trust probably, me. yeah, you're, <laughs> you're not worried about right. you in the queue. You're actually right. <laughs> All right, we got the Sword versus Axe once again, kind of reminding us of that first game. Brawlhaven is going to be the map as well. The downer is coming through. Just a bit of taps so far. Hollux getting the shorter end of these trades, though, as the double down light comes through into the side air weapon throw. Not going to find that edge guard. We've been seeing a lot of them come through, but not that one. The side air is going to send him back off, though. What is he going to do with the down sig? Going to close off that stock with minuscule amounts of damage taken. That was a 30 second stock. We're playing battle pass missions. And, man. The fact that Holix is down 0-2 and is still going with the Ivor, still going with the Bren pick, it is his highest level legend coming in at level 96, but he has a Hattori at level 82, and what was the more successful between the two weapons? It's the one he has in his hands right now, it's the Spear. So I'm a little bit surprised why we haven't seen a character swap after him is just controlling everything. Right, just something to think about as a player is like, okay, if I'm going to... Uh Lose the first game, fine. Lose the second game to two stock. Maybe it's time to switch something out. I got this best of five. I made it this far, so I should try everything in my arsenal. If you have that high level of a Tori on you, it's the same weapon, that spear that you've been finding that success with. Try it out. Try that new stats. Out. Try that new secondary weapon. As I say that, the stock is taken off. It is a mountain to climb. He is in the orange, but it's looking better than last game already. We're seeing the solid spear play, which is the reason one might suggest that he goes over to the Hattori, or even a Mirage. He has a level 52 Mirage as well. I really want to see that spear play shine. And if I'm Holix, even if I thought I can't beat him we whatsoever, I would maybe be looking at what legend might give me that success just... on the elimination side of the bracket. A little bit of unarmed coming out. He even turns around and goes for the sideline. He might pay for that because he didn't get to oh the my. weapon. Almost went into that one, barely got through. These jump stairs from him are also so beautiful. You're, you, that, that's exactly why that new hitbox, the closer to the body one, matters so much. It lets you get that close range punish on the stair. It lets you get that jump stair aerial pressure, J even if they're they're not going to jump into it. Oh, that was almost scary. You have that, that kind of stigmatism where it's like, okay, do I want to jump into this? Do I have to stay on the ground? I'm too worried. I'm not going to make a movement. And it's just, it's just free pressure if it's going to hit close to the body like that. And it always kind of brings it back to like what was the strongest part about Hammer, which was utility. Yep. It was the utility that Hammer had to find a hit in so many different Recovery situations. Zone. With the side air getting that, okay. Holix finds the D-Sig. It's on the wrong side of the stage, facing towards the far left blast zone. Hemwe oh finding the Sair. Has Holix in the orange. Best to get the crossover with the down light, but it's not going to work out. The KO is going to be there for Holix. Powering up, he's going to need it for this stock as... Wow. The just, weapon spawn went right yeah. to him. It was just had to perfect. take a second take there. He didn't even have to jump for that one. It was right there. Okay, Holly. You see down light and it's wake over. up and it's gonna be a 3-0. Himway. Grand finals already. That's showing the just huge discrepancy in mm. their seeds right there. That game actually a lot more focused on swords. So Himway is showing that he has a mastery 
of the kit of Bodvar, even with the signatures, he wasn't finding too many hits with them, but they were putting, like you said, a lot of pressure yep. out. Even that NSIG that we saw that game, it just, I'm telling you, it looked perfect. It didn't hit, and he got punished for it, but it looked so good. It looked like he just, it's just a Bodvar player thing, man. It's just these Bodvar players, they always know what they're doing. I'm, I spiked them. They're, they're too confident on that character. I know I used to play Bodvar, and I did not look like these people today.